So today we're going to be reviewing decimal word problems or decimals in word problems and it's all operations. So Adriana, and you should recognize these from estimating, we're taking the same questions, now we're finding the actual answers. Adriana bought 8.5 yards of ribbon to make each of her volleyball teammates a hair ribbon. Each hair ribbon requires 0.9 yards of ribbon. Does Adriana have enough to make 10 hair ribbons? So if she's got all, all this ribbon, this is eight and a half yards, and she cuts up into nine tenths pieces, how many can she get? So this is, of course, dividing, because you're dividing it out. So it's 8.5 divided by 0.9. Now we learned when we have a decimal outside the division sign, we have to multiply this by 10 to get this out and multiply this by 10 to get this out. And then we drag our um, decimal point up. So 9 doesn't go into 8. 9 goes into 85 9 times. 9 times 9 is 81. And then 4 and add a 0 and bring the 0 down. And 9 goes into 40 um, 4 times. Nine 4 times 9 is 36. And I don't have to keep going because this tells me she can make 9.4 hair ribbons. And it says, does she have enough to make 10 hair ribbons? No, she only has enough to, pay, to make 9.4. So the answer is no, she doesn't have enough. Mr. Martinez spent 1877 at the grocery store. He bought a, mag a $2.99 magazine for himself and spent the rest to buy his three daughters each a teddy bear. If each bear cost the same amount, how much did Mr. Martinez pay? So let's look at what we're going to do first. So we're going to talk about the amount of money he had minus the $2.99 for the magazine. And then we're going to take that total and we're going to split it up three ways to um, find out how much each teddy bear cost. And, and so that's our plan. So now let's do the math. $8.77 minus $2.99. And I've got lots of borrowing here. This becomes a 6, and that's 8. And 8 becomes a 7, and that becomes 16. And so that's 7, and that's 5, and that's 1. So after his magazine, he has 15.78. And we said we're going to take that total and divide by 3 to find out how much the teddy bears cost. So 15.78 divided by 3. And I'm going to clean this up so that it doesn't get messy. So, three, so I'm going to drag my decimal up, just line it up, make it very straight. Three goes into one zero times. Three goes into 15 five times. And so that's 15. And I get zero. And I bring down the seven. Three goes into seven two times. Two times three is six. And that's one. Bring down the eight. Three goes into 18 um, six times. So my total for each bear was 526. And you could put that back in and make sure that it makes sense. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 3 is 18, and he had 1877. So it checks. Okay, a deli charges 349 for a pound of turkey. If 10 wants to purchase 2.6 pounds, how much will it cost? This is a classic multiplication problem because you have an amount a dollar amount times a, a weight equals a total dollar amount. So 345 times 2.6. And I just I just lay it out. It's a th it's, it's like saying 345 times 26. And then I'll deal with the decimal point at the end. So 6 times 5 is 30. And 6 times 4 is 24 plus 3 is 27. And 6 times 3 is 18 plus 2 is 20. So I'm done with this. And then I place hold with a 0. And then 2 times 5 is 10. And 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. And 2 times 3 is 6. And so my total is this, 
but I gotta place my decimal because I don't think I spent $8,000 on some turkey. So one, two, three, one, two, three, and so that gives me a total of 897. Now let's estimate to make sure that that makes sense. Three times three would be nine, and that's really darn close. So 897 is my final amount. Miss Markinson's class is having a party for hot dogs, chips, drinks, and a cake. The cost is $103.95. That's the total. And the class decides to split the cost about, well, it should say how much will each person pay if there's 27 people. So this is split out into 27 people. So that's going to be division. So I'm going to make it nice and clean, 103.95, divided by 27, big number here. And I'm going to say, well, 25 goes into 100 four times, but this looks like it's over 25, so I'm going to try three times. 3 times 7 is 21, and 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. And then I'm going to subtract 2 and 2, and got 22. It's 2, and 2. And then bring down the 9, and I did this before, and I'm going to look to see, and that's 8 times. 8 times. 8 times 7 is 56, and 8 times 2 is 16, plus 5 is 21. And bring it down, and then bring down the 5, and so 27 goes into 135 5 times. And I would multiply that out, and it's 135. And so that's 0 left over. So the amount per person is $3.85. And if I took 100 and divided it by 25, that would be my estimate, I'd get $4. Is $4 close to $3.85? Yes, it is. Okay, last problem before the homework check. In 2000, a production worker in Japan who worked 38.5 hours in a week would have earned an average of 770. What's his hourly wage? So we're saying 770 divided out by 38.50. And that will give me how many hours he worked. Because this is the number of hours times the amount per hour will give me the total. So I've got to do the opposite and divide. So I've got 770 divided by 38.5. Now I, here I have a decimal on the outside, so I have to multiply by 10 and move that over and multiply by 10 and move that over. And now my new decimal point is here. And I go, how many times does 385 go into um, 7, 0, into 77, 0, into 770? And I'm going to try 2. So 2 times 5 is 10. And 2 times um, 8 is 16 plus 1 is 17. And 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So I got real lucky and bring down the 0. Now, this goes into this 0 times. I've got to hold the place. He didn't make $2 per hour. So if I don't hold this place and put the 0 up here, it's going to distort how much he made. Because if he only made two dollars an hour, he'd only make about eighty bucks. So it, it has to be twenty. So now, if you do twenty times forty, that's going to equal eight hundred, and that's real close to seven seventy. So you know that the twenty is reasonable. Okay, so here's your homework check. It this question will look familiar, and this. And these two will look different. Um, we're looking for exact now. Um, and this has two operations. Uh, this has a couple of different operations. You're looking at two shirts for an amount each, three pairs of jeans for an amount each. Take from 80 because you're finding out how much change you'll get back. And this, you spend this much, you divide it by this, many, this much per gallon, and it tells you how many gallons. 
um, hit jackpot. So go ahead and practice with these and put them on your homework form and um, we'll see how you do when we come back.